Hey guys, Philosopher here, and today I have the gameplay for Gambit. And first, we're going to talk about his T4 and ISO. I will say I do only have him right now at two stars, and that's because of the release method for the character. Um, this is the first character that I can remember that not, we can't core his orbs, uh, and the offers are pretty insane. So, you know, here's one for a hundred dollars to get 100 shards plus 12 orbs. Here's one for seventy-five dollars to get seventy shards plus seven orbs, and those are the only ways to get orbs at this point. Um, uh, the offer I I I had purchased was the fifty-dollar offer, so for fifty dollars you get him at two stars. Seems insanely overpriced. Something I would not have done in, at this stage unless I was making a video for you guys. Uh, I'm not in the mood to support Scopely right now. So, um, what is my take on Gambit? Um, I think he's an interesting character. There's, you know, definitely part of his kit that is going to be a little underrated by some folks. Okay, and and what I'm speaking about is the out of turn damage. So right here, and this is MSF.GG. I'm looking at at the end of any any enemy turn, he attacks the most injured enemy, ignoring top for 180% piercing plus apply heal block. You know, uh, for example, Kestrel, when she pings, it's 400%. And it's regular damage, not piercing. So this is 180%, but it ignores armor. So it gets some, so it's going to hit harder against certain enemies that have high armor. But also, it's not conditional. Here's what I mean. With Kestrel, you have to be attacking a defense down enemy. You can't always do that. There's not always defense down on the field. Whereas here, um, it's going to be happening every turn. All right. So, so um, you know, that's interesting. But the rest of the kit is really not special. I have to say, if he was not called Gambit, if this was just Phantom X or some other character, we'd be like, eh, people wouldn't be that excited about it, right? I mean, every turn he's going to be applying bleed. He'll apply ability block once and never again outside of Crucible. Um, you know, he, he can go around taunt. To, to bonus attack uh, uh, most injured. That's kind of interesting. And then every six turns, he's going to put out disrupt for two turns and attack all enemies. <clears throat> it's, it's interesting. You know, as for his stats, good but not amazing. Okay, but very good. I mean, you know, very good, but they're not like, oh, my God, like, you know, the best new character ever, right? Uh, tied for 18th in damage. The thing that's nice about him actually to me is he's quite beefy. So third in health. So I do think he's a very good character. Um, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not sure how OP he is given his speed of 107, which is pretty slow. So it's a lot of it's going to be, he's going to be very survivable uh, between that health and his passive, but he's, you know, he's he's down here in speed with a character like Ultron or Nebula. He's basically, you know, Nebula, you might say, well, she goes fast, but that's because she spawns with speed up. And so a better example might be Ultron or Iron Fist or, you know, some of these characters here, Doctor Strange, Ravager Boomer. These are not <clears throat> particularly fast characters, right? Um, particularly given today's meta. So he's, you know, tied for 113th in speed. So interesting. <laughs> Let's go through his T4s uh, now and his and his uh, ISO. His ISO is obviously Raider. If you're not running him as Raider, I think you're doing something wrong. Um, so that would be the that would be my first comment there. Um, and the reason he's Raider, I think, is fairly straightforward when you look at him. <laughs> first of all, whoops, uh, he's a character who gets um, additional crit, uh, crit chance and crit damage when he has evade and gives that to his team. And then on crit, he applies the evade to the entire team. So he's all about crits, in my opinion. So you just, he's an, he's un un unquestionably a raider. Let's look at his T4s for a minute. To me, this is absolutely essential. This is giving 25% max health to the team. And then in Crucible, at the end of an enemy turn, fill speed bar by 20%. So to me, you know, that is just huge, right? I mean, every time the enemy's taking turn, 20% speed bar, that's pretty significant. Then this to me is just a nice to have. 130% to all enemies. Apply disrupt for two turns instead of one. Flip two positive effects into negative effects, but only in Crucible. 
like I said, in Crucible, that's essential. Outside of it, nice to have. Um, this one, I think, is the actually the second best one to do. The reason why is that ultimate's every six turns. And this is every turn. Every turn, you're going to be putting out uh, this primary and adjacent target. So 50% additional piercing to all three targets, or up to three targets. And then <clears throat> the bleed is going to be for two turns and speed up um, and, and for two turns. And then this is going to increase the damage multiplier on the bleed by having the T4. So that's the reason there. I think this is also nice to have 100% damage to the most injured enemy. It'll be 250% piercing instead of 150. So I think that's very nice. I'll probably do that, but it's it's more in the nice to have category. Okay. So let's just take a look at them in the game. Right now, you don't have the full team. Doesn't have Rogue. Obviously, the characters can be way better with Rogue. What I think I'm going to do is I'll just show off. I've been having some luck showing off these teams in Dark Dimension 3 because I can use any character there. And the characters live long enough to do something. So we've got these two. And, you know, we tried. Here you go. This is what we tried before. So we have <laughs> Jubilee Bishop. We'll, we'll, we'll take him out and throw Gambit here and just see. We'll see. We'll start by seeing how the team is with <laughs> Jubilee and Beast. Okay. All right. So let's see what this was like. I want to see his animations, right? Gambit's an iconic character. Okay, so there you go. You see the pick the card? All right, let's just check out. There's his... We, we could see he was doing the out-of-turn damage. All right. It's, it's not huge. Okay, the one thing that's nice actually about having... Beast with Gambit, you can see how he's survivalist. He's going into he's going into stealth, and then Beast can like heal him up. <clears throat> so that's the nice thing. Actually, he's proccing Beast. But I don't know how much he's gonna live. <clears throat> All right, so now let's see him actually do something. So this is the winning hand move. Probably looks a lot cooler when he doesn't have stealth. But he, all right, all right. We're gonna do this just to get slow on everyone because we could use the <laughs> survivability. All right, it's our friend Dazzler. I think we actually need this more. Dazzler, all right, because we could use the shield. The barrier, I should call it. All right, what is... Yeah, let's get Taunt on him. It's interesting the out-of-turn damage from Gambit. I mean, he is doing a lot of stuff. All right. Gambit lives. These other ones did not. He's living quite a bit. Throwing out his cards. Whereas Jubilee and Phantom X already died. All right, let's try this other one here. Let's just see what it looks like. Once again, in stealth, okay. He uses the staff versus using the card. And then he ends up with using the card because of the, because of the, um, passive, okay. All right, we're finally going to see the ultimate. Let's check it out. All 
Okay. That's a two stars. I mean, I give him credit. With two stars, he's hanging in there. He's hanging in there. I actually give him credit. He's actually doing stuff with just two stars. Phantom X, I mean, his his performance is way worse. At least you can see what's doing things is that out of turn damage. Well, let's take a look at this without the uh, stealth now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very interesting. Yep. Very interesting. I mean, I think he's the best. <clears throat> this team doesn't look very good right now. And I think that we will... Uh, here, let's let's heal the... Uh, we'll heal these three. Let's throw some others with them. Let's try... I think we will try... Uh, Let's do maybe Phoenix. Gambit. And we'll do... Put him next to Phantom X. And then we'll put Colossus on the other side. And we'll just see how they do with Phoenix and Colossus. And then we'll try, after this, we'll try Magic at Phoenix. I won't let it go to the end next time. We've already seen the animations. And then we'll go to take this team to RTA, I think. See, so he gets into stealth very quickly, which actually helps him. Um... Yeah, he he's he definitely looks the best of anybody on the team, which is, you know, like I said, if there's going to be a part of him that's really good, it's going to be that out of turn damage. And I think that's really what it is. Yeah, I think he's definitely underrated. If I had a seven, you know, seven yellow stars on Gambit, I think we we'd be pretty excited because I think the damage output would be much more significant. And so, obviously, I've already told you my piece, and I've put, you know, I practice what I preach here. I didn't buy those offers, but I do think that people who do will get their money's worth, just purely from the perspective of. You know, they will get, I think, higher damage in this character does matter. I think red stars in this character matter just because of the ping. It's all about the ping with him, basically. And he's just a character who's going to constantly ping with the pick a card ability, passive ability. That's it. That's basically the whole the whole thing with this character, as far as I can tell. And, and he also, on his basic, he will go you know, go be, um, he'll go beyond, uh, taunt. So, you know, he can skip taunt to attack the most injured. So like he could attack Hawkeye here, whereas Phantom X cannot notice that those crits, how Phantom X is getting all those defense downs, right? See, he's attacking <clears throat> Hawkeye. So it's generally speaking, you'll always, I would think use a special, but an exception would be when you want to ping somebody who's behind taunt. Oh. Pro he's probably. So here would be where I would go. So 
So we, we saw him with Beast. The nice thing about him with Beast is when he went below and got into stealth, Beast... Um, all right, let's see him do this again. When he was under stealth, Beast got turns, right, from the, the reduced health pool. Yeah, I mean, he's doing pretty well. I, I think he's genuinely doing well. You can see those evades in the crits. That's why you want him as Raider. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. So I was, like I said, very... I think I would, you would count me as a Gambit skeptic. All right, let's quit out of this. <clears throat> yeah, this is a two-star character. Two yellow, two red. <clears throat> I think it's pretty decent performance. Let's take out Colossus and put in Magic. <clears throat> yeah, so... As people are noting, his health is really high, and he does have the fourth highest health in the game. But like his damage output is pretty low, and I think that's right too because he's only hitting for 180% piercing on his passive. Okay, so that's not high. And then if you look at his special, it's 300% piercing, which is good, but it's not overwhelming. Okay, so the piercing is very nice. But it's not, it's two star character, remember. Okay. You can see all they're all focusing on Dark Phoenix, who should get rezzed by magic, I would think. Okay. There she is. She's back. She's back. <clears throat> Yeah, and she's back with all of her cooldowns. So the folks in my chat who suggested magic, they were uh, sneaky smart there. Very interesting. Okay, you can see. It helps with having high resistance on these new characters. And we'll do the... Um, we'll do the... Um, the barrier... So here's an example. If you want to hit Pyro, you do the basic instead of the special. And it goes after Pyro. Now, of course, here that didn't really didn't kill him and just got him some speed bar. So not sure that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, Gambit's definitely the best character of the team so far. By a pretty good margin, I'd say. I'm not that impressed with uh phantom x maybe on the full team he's good i don't know all right <clears throat> that was interesting now people are like hey that's only like 9k on a ping but remember remember that he is 
it two it two yellow stars. Okay, so that's the difference. The questions, yeah, how much does that scale up? So here, let's take a look. I'll, I'll show you how you can tell. You go to msf.gg. So let's look at the stat table here. So he's got, so they've got, so let's put him at ISO Raider uh, Blue, level three. Okay. All right, let's just, yeah, gear tier, let's just put him at gear tier 15. So currently this is what my character looks like. Okay, so currently right now, my character's got 480% health, 21,000 damage. Let's just say that we moved him up to five yellows, four reds. His damage would be six thirty three uh, health, twenty nine damage, twenty nine k damage. So compared to where I am now, twenty one k damage to twenty nine k. So another eight k damage. So that's pretty significant. So because you know. That's an extra 38% damage, basically. Yeah, so that's just normal in this game. All right, let's see. Let's have some fun with it. And let's see. Let's get some X-Men. Let's see what X-Men are available here in, in this game mode right now. Is he available? Yes. I assume they would do that. Um, okay, let's just try it with Phoenix and uh, Magic, like we tried before. We're just trying it for fun. Um, I, I, can, I, my, unfortunately, my. I would like to see him in raids, but my I'm not there in my lane right now. Mutants at the end of my lane, so I will do, I will do, um, I'll do that later. All right, so this is a, probably a better team. We got Cloak and Dagger and Sharon Carter and Captain Sam and this this person's. All right. All right, let's see here. Okay, they're going after my magic. Interesting choice. They're ignoring my unlimited X-Men. No respect. All right. Pick a card, any card. Do 9K damage. All right, what does this do? It flips. Yeah, I might as well do a cleanse. Oh, no, this is just the unlimited. Sh shoot. Um, all right, let's do taunt to save, save magic. <laughs> I don't think it'll be enough. Uh-oh. The taunt's gone. <clears throat> All right, let's... All right, we got rid of magic. Mm -hmm. Cool. <clears throat> Magic's gone. But we did get rid of uh, I meant dagger. Okay. All right, they're going after Gambit next, which really says something. I will say, Gambit is a character. He doesn't really... Um, he doesn't really... I don't think ability blocking him does much. 
One thing I do wonder is when he's ability blocked, you cannot use the special one ability block. Very interesting. Trying to kill Dark Phoenix, and they got her. Okay. This is really interesting. <laughs> Hmm. Probably shouldn't be going after him. I just figure Gambit will be anyway. He's the only one really doing much. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. All right, well, they got Gambit down. <laughs> that was, we did better than I thought. What really hurt me there was... Um, yeah, what impre I, what I, I will say, what impressed me was Gambit's ping. People were also mentioning his heal. So let's look at his healing here. I will, well, I'll, we'll, I'll show you that. All right. Let's take a look at the ping here. So when this, at the end of any enemy turn, attack the most injured non summon enemy. What's happening is when he crits, he applies evade to the team. That's the that's what's interesting there, I think. I don't think he's actually healing. Is it drain? Maybe it's drain. Maybe it's drain from the full team. <laughs> that must be what it is. Is she giving drain? No, let's try... Is Phantom X giving Drain? How is he healing? So Phantom X is healing all the time. So wait, how how is he draining on the ping? That's what I want to know. I don't think that's on the kit. Where am I missing that? It's not there. It's not there. There's no drain. There's not supposed to be drain. Oh, while this character has stealth, while this character has stealth gain 50% drain. So what happens is once per match, he drops below 50% health. So once he does that, he gets stealth for two turns. So for those two turns, he's just totally bonkers because not only is he you know, attacking constantly, but he's draining. And then the bigger that he is, he's very much stat-based, size-based, because the bigger that he is, the more that he drains. So I do think they definitely found a way to get a character. So it's really, and it's not just the out of turn damage that's so important for him, but this is helpful as well. Makes him with a high health pool very survivable. Yeah, it definitely actually makes Phoenix a very good pairing is right. So Phoenix is actually very good for him keeps him up all right here we go very similar teams this guy just threw gambit in the his uncanny team 
And I got the unlimited team. We'll see how this goes. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay. Hoping that I can get somebody else out of... Yep, here we go. Wow, look at the drain on, ga on their gambit. Very interesting, huh? Okay. Wow. Interesting. We got, yeah, we got off their Dark Phoenix. Nice. We've got to get Magic dead soon. Oh, she got their Dark Phoenix back. That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay, roller skates here. Do your thing, roller girl. All right. Toss out those cards. All right, we got roller. We got uh, magic down. Uh, we want to get her to be the lowest health, frankly. So, and Gambit will start focusing her down. That will not happen, though. All right. All right. Now he's in stealth. Let's just kill Colossus so we can start working on. All right, on her. I don't know. Actually, with a single target, it may be better off with his basic. Yeah, we got him. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Very evenly matched teams. We each have the same two-star gambit, although his is gear tier 14. But very similar teams. This is actually a great session here. And you got to see that the full team with, well, the full team, Dazzler, Phantom X with Phoenix and Magic are better than Storm, Colossus, Gambit with Phoenix and Magic. Very interesting. He actually just came to my chat. Thank you, sir. Thank you. If you were in my chat already, thank you for allowing us to test this team. If you can battle again, if people can battle again with me where we're actually testing this out, that's really awesome. This is great for, and this is what people want to see. They want to see how the team operates, what are the good pieces of it, and so on. That's what people really want to know. So thank you for that, man. MF team. All right, we got to, okay, though, this guy. This guy's got full dark hold. <laughs> our little happy uh, our little happy x-men fest is, is gonna is gonna they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be x men very soon x-men and women they're going to be uh, formerly known as men and women currently corpses <laughs> dazzler and phoenix both ability blocked on turn one I love, yeah, what somebody's saying, you know, Gamora, they've got Perma banned. They also don't let you have both Eternals, but we got full Dark Hold, <laughs> which is just pure. Look at this. I can't do anything. Dazzler's actually, to her credit, she's getting a lot of speed bar. Let's try to, yeah, we can't flip. We can't really do anything. 
There we go. I got the least of counterattack so we can get Dark Phoenix out. Oh. Make all right. Ugh. Gambit's dead. All right. <laughs> we'll just put that on auto. Yeah, this guy's trying hard. <laughs> he's trying hard. <laughs> I think he's concerned. He's, he's upset that he's only at 80% health on some of his characters. He wanted to finish at 100%, so he's he's going hard at this one. Yeah, I mean, this was the last Horseman team. Obviously, this team will be way better with Rogue, but it's it's just not what you'd, you know, it's not what you'd necessarily love or want to have outside. All right, what do we got here? Okay, this is a more reasonable team. All right, we could do something against this team. It's not completely useless. And one thing this guy, I guess he's going all protectors. I think he thinks that there's a protector uh, mission here. You, you Actually, Yo-Yo's passive doesn't work if you have another protector in the team. Uh, when RTA first came out, they had like um, missions or quests or something. Where you're like, kill a bunch of people with win games with protectors. <laughs> so these like all protector teams. <clears throat> yeah, this guy thankfully has got it on auto, so he's just going after Phoenix, which is great. Okay. Um Okay, so far so good. I was really hoping that she would get a turn, that Phoenix would get a turn so that she could actually put everyone in stealth, bef you know, early. So then this way Gambit would just stay healed, but that's not going to happen here. All right, let's get the taunt here. There we go. We're only dealing now with. Hmm. Should have thought about that before I put taunt on him. Well, they're trying. So that's an example where if Yo-Yo wasn't right next to Captain Sam, I would have used the basic. Now we'll go after Emma Frost. It does seem like Dambit is healing outside of stealth. <laughs> so that may be an issue. <laughs> yeah, he's healing all the time. Okay. Oh, this is full dark hold. All right, I'm going to auto that one. So I'm going to have to report this to the devs. It's not supposed to, he's not supposed to be healing. He's not supposed to be healing when he's not in stealth. Yeah, this is dorm hold versus my little, little X Men team. Yeah. 
and I, I don't have a very big X-Men theme overall. So this is just like somebody, this is, they've gone all out with, I guess, yeah, lesser stars on their dorm hold. I could quit out of the match, but just like I'm giving him his free. Look at this. That was a 270K punch down. That's why. Maybe they do it based on TCP or something. All right, this is a morph. It's another guy with the same idea. Commander Terry. I don't know if you're on our chat or not, but thank you. So it's basically the same team, except he put Colossus in. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay, and now we're going 100% after Colossus. Okay, not what I wanted there, but I took too long to make up my mind. Um, let's get my own taunt up. Perfect. We got taunt up on their Dark Phoenix somehow. Up, oh, it got removed. Okay. This should splash on this Phoenix. That helps. Okay, we got rid of the taunt <clears throat> on Colossus. Hmm. Okay, let's... I'll get us the barrier. <laughs> nice mirror match here, huh? I don't know what I... Oh, I guess I was going to say I don't know why he's going after my Dark Phoenix before magic. <laughs> but I, I'm going after his... Uh, I should have... Maybe I should have gone after Dazzler. Okay, his Dark Phoenix is down. <clears throat> yep, you better hope he gets my magic down in time. Oof. He most certainly did. Well played. All right, and this is another guy, by the way, from my chat. Commander Terry, thank you, dude. Hey, Kevin, and everybody in my chat. Well, I think it's an interesting, um, you know, look, I think the team is interesting. I guess my take on this team right now is that Gambit's better than we thought he was. I think... I knew, I said from the very beginning before I tested the character that I think this out of turn attack was going to be big, but obviously the drain is huge. Now, the problem is I think it's bugged and he's getting drain all the time. So we're going to have to deal with that. The dev should fix that. Um, but, you know, generally speaking, I think the character is good. He's got four, fourth highest health in the game, you know, 18th highest damage. <laughs> he's a pretty good character. Obviously, the cost is astronomical. But for those of you who want to, you know, wail out like super big time, and I know there's some of you that are doing that, you know, do what you do it, do what you're going to do uh, on that. I, I, you know, it's hard for me to recommend that at this stage, at this stage of things, but I think it's, um, you know, he's definitely a, a very good character. How, uh, how OP, I don't know. This is what Batwalk, who's one of my viewers has. This is what you get from buying all the offers. And maxing out the gear and everything else, but I think it's um, 
I guess what I would just say is um, interesting character and a little bit better than I expected based on the kit. All right, guys, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. If you have comments, questions, cheers, cheers, happy, sad, angry, mad, you can put it below or go to my Discord. That is linked below. You can go to my Twitch stream. That is linked below too.